Two ISAF service members left Kobol City, their compound in Kobol City, where they and their vehicle went missing. They said that they have sent out the search uh, vehicles to look for them, but still have not been found. This coming on the same day that we're hearing that five U.S. service members were killed in southern Afghanistan after two separate IED attacks. Four were killed during one IED attack in the south and one in the other. Again, this information is just coming in, so we have very little information at the moment. We have heard reports that uh, they could possibly be announcing this on uh, radio stations in the province actually south of Kobol in Logar province. But again, we haven't independently confirmed it. Uh, it is surprising. But at the same time, you, as this new strategy, President Obama's strategy, and one that was also uh, prescribed by General Stanley McChrystal, the former top NATO commander here in Afghanistan, he, he and President Obama have called for more of the U.S. service members, the ISAF for service members, to get off of their bases, to actually interact with the Afghan people. So even though a few years ago it may be unheard of that two soldiers, two service members would leave in a non-military vehicle, possibly an armored vehicle. In the last couple of years, it's not unheard of as they try to go into that population center and meet with the Afghan people.